Alexa, stop. Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm playing with my new toy still. This is the Amazon Echo Dot 2, Vision 2. And I'm not, I'm not going to discuss it itself. I'm just going to kind of try some things. And I'm going to try things that are rate related to amateur radio, shortwave radio, or scanners. And what you were just listening to is a scanner in Chicago that's on TuneIn. It's one of those websites that provide you radios throughout the world, including scanners. And it just so happens um, Chicago, that was Chicago, Chicago Police, is on TuneIn's. Also, Pinellas County Fire and EMS, where I live, is on there. But today, the scanner, the individual scanner that's connected to that, is having a problem. I don't know if it's a scanner or his internet connection, but it's very in and out, very in and it's breaking up terrible. So, I hope you'll get that fixed because that's the only way I can hear uh, communications in Pinellas County on fire EMS. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try some things live uh, so I could fail miserably. Uh, using this and try to find things related to amateur radio. So let's try a couple things. So let's see. Oh, let's ask her a question. Alexa, what is solar weather? In solar Germany, it's 54 degrees <laughs> with mostly cloudy skies. No, no, no. Today, you can look for showers with a high of Alexa, stop. degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Alexa. Okay. So she get Right now in solar Germany. No, I know that. Stop. Alexa, stop. I don't want to know the weather in solar Germany. I didn't even know there was a solar Germany. Hmm. I want to know. Uh, let me try this. Now, this is the thing that's uh, a little frustrating, is you have to learn her language. You know, what word to use to get what information. So, I just said, you know, what is solar weather? And for some reason, she came up with weather in solar Germany. Now, let me try, try this. Alexa, what is the definition of solar weather? Solar weather is branch of meteorology, which studies behavior of sun and what type of predictions can be done. Okay, that's better. Now, let's see if she's smart enough. And kind of talking behind her back, you, you know, you never, you never know about this device, and because she's always listening, and the question is, is your communications, is that going someplace on the internet, even though you didn't say the keyword Alexa? Yeah, you never know. Whoops, I said the keyword. Sorry. Stop, Alexa. Stop. No, it's okay. Forget it, Alexa. Okay. Got to be careful <laughs> about using that key word. Now, the thing is, uh, right now, there are only two words that you can use to get her attention. One is Alexa, and one is... Oh, oh not now. Uh, uh, hop, oh, uh, stop. Alexa, stop. It's okay. Never mind. It's the A word. A L word and it's the uh, Amazon word. Now you have to set up which one you want to use. So she doesn't respond to Amazon right now because I didn't set up to use Amazon. Unfortunately right now those are the only two you can use. So if you happen to have somebody in your house that has the A L name, um, she's going to respond. Like uh, you say, um, Alexa, stop doing that. Now she didn't. She didn't say anything because I told her to stop. But uh, oh, you know what I mean. Okay, okay, moving on. Um, 
So we didn't get solar weather information. We only got a definition, which is what I asked for. Okay, let's see if she can tell me the solar flux index. Alexa, what is the solar flux index today? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Yeah, see, she didn't, couldn't find that. I've tried that a couple of times and nada, she doesn't know. Okay, let me try something else. Alexa, what is shortwave radio? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Okay, I'll try it again. Now, she can, she does a good job of recognizing her name, but sometimes she doesn't do a good job of recognizing what you say after her name. And as most of you know, I mumble a lot. So we're struggling a little bit with that. Uh, right now, I don't have any ambient noise, but I've had her playing music and ask her a question, and she recognized and stopped the music or turned the music way down, and then I asked my question. Now, the other thing is she doesn't give you a lot of time to ask your question. So if you hesitate or you struggle like I do, she would just take what she's got and try to answer it or just move on. So you have to watch that a little bit. Um, I talked to the, not directly, but I've indirectly talked to the development team because I've, I've sent them probably 20 questions. And they, within, um, I'd say an hour, no less, within 30 minutes, I get an email reply. And it, it, it's, it seems to be kind of canned responses. But then there's a link that you can click on, and you can either chat on the Internet or you can have them call you. And I've used the option where I've had them call me, and then you get to talk to somebody not in the development group, but their customer service group for uh, um, the Echo. Echo. And the last time I called them, I got somebody who was pretty informative and answered a lot of questions. Unfortunately, his answers were, were not what I was hoping for, but he took my suggestion. He says, I'll pass her suggestion on to the development team, wink, wink. Um, so we'll see. The other thing I'm going to watch, uh, and I asked him, I said, is there any way to tell when there are changes made and what the changes are? Apparently, there's not right now. So I don't know if you, it informs you somehow that there's an update and do you want to do the update or what? I, he didn't, didn't seem to know how, to, how I could do that. Oh, the other thing is, uh, I ask him, not him particularly, but I asked the question via um, the feedback that's in the Alexis program. Oh, sorry, Alexis. Uh, okay, let me put you on mute. There we go. Now she's on mute. She won't respond to me. I say mute, uh, mute in the sense she won't respond to me. So, okay, now what I was getting ready to say is there is program that runs on your PC or your tablet or probably your phone, I haven't tried it on a phone, that gives you more control of the Echo. Uh, you can search for programs, I mean um, program uh, radio programs, and that's how I've found some of the scanner radios that are on TuneIn. Uh, you can find what's called skills, which are applications that run via the Echo. And I think I showed you one of those before, which was a amateur radio test program that would ask you questions for your, for learning your, uh, for training for your amateur radio test. 
And, um, and then there's other things you can do on, on the program for your PC or tablet, whatever. So that's another way. Okay. I'm kind of rambling here, which I figured I would eventually start rambling. So let's try something else. Let me turn her back on here. And I wasn't successful with asking her properly what shortwave radio is. Let me try that again. Alexa, what is shortwave radio? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Well, I tried that before, and she answered it on the first try, so maybe I, like I say, you got to be careful how you ask a question, because, let me try this. Alexa, define shortwave radio. Shortwave radio is radio transmission using shortwave frequencies, generally 1.6 to 30 megahertz, just above the medium wave AM broadcast band. Okay, so... If you want to get a definition, you have to use the word define. So that's the key there. That's how I did it before. And we try this um, Alexa. Are DX conditions good today? Hmm. I'm not sure what you meant by that question. Yeah. Again, it, it, I, I didn't ask the right question. Let me try this. Alexa, who is ICOM? ICOM is an album by Miss Kitten released no. in 2004 on label Nova Mute. Alexa, no, no, you screwed up, Alexa. Hmm, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. It wasn't a question, Alexa. You messed up. I'm going to have to put you back in the box. Alexa, do you want to go back in the box? I'm not sure what you meant by that question. <laughs> Alexa, who is smarter, me or you? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Okay, moving on. Uh, so she didn't get the answer I want on the ICOM question. Now, what happens is when you're running the um, Alexa or Echo, sorry, never mind. When you're watching. Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. I didn't ask you a question. Um, what was it? Don't interrupt me. <laughs> uh, when you're running the application, it's best to run it on your computer because you get a nice big screen. Uh, every time you get her attention, that communications is recorded up on the cloud, up in the clouds, and you can see that. Like for instance, I, I've got my computer running right now, and I see, and they call them cards. So it's a little, um, I call it a cue card or whatever, and it, it gives you information about what you ask and then you have the opportunity, in most cases, not okay, you have the opportunity to answer, did, mm -mm, do what you wanted, and you can say yes or no. If you say yes, nothing happens. If you say no, then you have an opportunity to send them an email discussion, discussing what you tried and ask them to get back with you, which they will. Within 30 minutes, they'll get back to you. So, for instance, I'm looking at my screen right now, and the last thing I did I, she, that she heard is, sorry, never mind. And her answer was, I couldn't find the answer to your question. And if I scroll down here, um, she wanted, she, and so I can say, um, did Alexa do what you wanted? And I'll say no. And then if I want to send more detailed feedback, I can. Okay. So, so much for that. Let me go down and find one. Okay, here's the one where I ask her to define shortwave radio, which she did. And so, um, I can say, did, under did Alexa do what you wanted, I can say, yeah, sorry, mute, bye. Um, I can say yes. So, that helps train her, supposedly. Uh, 
of what kind of questions and how, what kind of answers she should be giving in the future, or what kind of answers should she be giving in the future. Okay. You can also uh, go to like music, music, they have a category music and books. Again, this is on your computer. Uh, and then you can select, for instance, tune in and go to tune in and then find stations you want to listen to. And then you need to write down what's the name of the station. So like, for instance, and it's like I said before, it's probably not working right now because it's something with either the person's scanner radio or his internet connection. But let's try it anyway. Um, Alexa, play Pinellas County Fire and EMS on TuneIn. Pinellas County Fire and EMS on TuneIn. Pinellas County Fire and EMS on TuneIn Life is currently not available. So he's dropped off. So I guess he's having some kind of problem. So he's disconnected his scanner. So he's gone. Um, trying to think. I don't have my list of ones that I've added on TuneIn. Uh, let me try. And you have to know the name of the scanner. In this case, scanner. So let me try Alexa, play Chicago Police on TuneIn. Chicago Police Scanner on TuneIn. Okay, that's working. Now, when you get a TuneIn station on your PC, you know, now have some controls at the bottom of the Alexa. Oops, sorry. The bottom of the Alexa page on your PC or your tablet. So you can pause on your computer. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to hit pause. Okay, now I shouldn't, I shouldn't hear anything from it because I paused that scanner. You can, when you're listening to music, you can skip a track and, and skip back a track. You can, on some uh, music, you can rate it, thumbs up or thumbs down. And all you have to do is say, Alexa, thumbs up. And she knows she's playing certain music, and she will post a thumbs up for that music. And remember that you like that music. Okay, let's move on. It's getting kind of uh, wordy here. Okay, let's try. Let's just try this for the heck of it. Alexa, who is Bofang? Bank of America is an American <laughs> multinational banking and financial services corporation nah. headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. Alexa, you're not doing too good here. Okay. And, and again, maybe I'm asking it wrong. Okay, let's try this. Now, I have uh, some Kindle books, some Kindle e-books that I've downloaded from Amazon. And... Some Kindle books can be read to you. So let's see if she'll read me a book. Alexa, read Kindle. Resuming from Kindle, QS Ling the World, A How to Guide. As the name implies, a reception report is a written correspondence that you send to the radio station with the details you monitored of their broadcast. Alexa, the purpose of pause. Okay, I... I had previously, because um, I, I, I've struggled with how to tell her which of uh, my ebooks to read. So I previously selected a book on the mm -mm application on my PC. So now if I just say mm, read Kindle, she'll resume where I was reading that particular Kindle book. Uh, you can also jump around within the book, but I don't know what the keywords are. I, the other thing is that I'm struggling with is I spent two days looking for books on Amazon about the Echo, and I must have 
glance through 50 of them, and none of which gave you the details that I was looking for. Uh, and I, I looked on YouTube, and I haven't found anything there. I'm really disappointed with that. There are hundreds of books, uh, e-books in this case, on Amazon about the Echo. But 99% of them are 25 pages or less, and these are e-book pages, which are much smaller than regular book pages. So I'm disappointed there. I did go and search the Yahoo groups to see if there were any groups on the Echo, of which I found three, and they had a total of like five members. That's it. So this is pretty pretty much in its infancy stage. Now, uh, I also found out a couple days ago that Google now has their equivalent to this available. I think it's $130, $150. Um, a little more expensive than I wanna shell out to this technology until it, until it really gets going. Uh, I now, I, right now, I have hooked up my power meter, my USB power meter. It's off camera. You can't see it. Uh, maybe I can actually, no, I was going to say I can move the camera up so you could see it, but I'll probably break the camera. So I'm just going to tell you what it's reading. It's reading that it's supplying the little uh, power cube that comes with this device. It's reading 5.1 volts, and it's drawing right now. It's kind of in a, a dormant state waiting for its command. It's drawing 0.17 amps. What I would like to do, and I was trying to find it, and I can't find the darn thing, is I was trying to find my larger USB power pack so that I can move this from room to room without unplugging it and turning it off because once you unplug it and turn it off it has to recycle and reboot just like a computer does so that takes oh maybe a minute or two so i was hoping to get that find that power pack of mine hook it up so that it's it's being constantly charged and it's supplying power to the echo so that if i want to move it i just unplug the charger from the, the battery pack, and I just take the Echo to me in any room. So that's, that's what I'm looking to do, and that's why I put the power meter on it. Let me get her excited here and see what kind of power she draws. Um, Alexa, resume. As the name implies, a reception report is a written correspondence that you sent to the radio station. Okay, so she's reading the book the to me. The purpose of the report is and to she have is the drawing send back to you a verification, either on point the part or five verifying amps, that when checked against their station. 250 logs, million amps. To receive the station's and, and I've got the volume to any type of radio pretty high. I think it's like ninety percent. Including medium Alexa, radio, FM. stop. I got the volume pretty high. Now, when I first plugged it in, uh, I noted it was spiking. As it was booting up, it was spiking. And it spiked up to, I think, 0.7 amps or 700 milliamps. And then it quickly came back down. Uh, right now, it's back down to 0.18. So there's not much difference between idle current and when she's talking to you. Let me get her to talk to me again, and let's see if, if there's any spike there. Alexa, resume. As the name implies, a reception okay. report is a Alexa, stop. That you sent to the radio station. Alexa, you stop. Um, I did see a spike when it first started reacting, and I think it's due to the LED lights. I think that's drawing the extra current. And it's probably what I saw when I plugged it in for the first time since I moved it, is because when you plug it in and it's rebooting, it's trying to find your Wi-Fi, these lights are going crazy. <clears throat> so I think that's the extra current drawn. So it looks like 
it typically is drawing about 200, 250 milliamps, which is not too bad. Um, I don't know. I think my my big power pack, USB power pack, is supposed to deliver uh, 10 amps, 10 milliamp hours. No, 10 amp hours, 10 amp hours. It doesn't, of course. It probably maybe delivers 5 amp hours. So that, that would probably be sufficient to move her. And now that I'm thinking it through, probably what I would do is I would have her on, I would have the battery pack on charge, her connected to it. When I wanted to move to another room, I could unconnect, or disconnect the charger from the power pack so that she would still be still be powered by the power pack, move to another room, have another charger in the other room, and then plug it back in. So I'd only have it, you know, maybe 30 seconds or so, or an hour, an hour, a minute, let's see, let's see, minutes, hours, a minute, a minute that it was using power from the power pack in that would be easy. That would, could easily do that. And my point is that I wouldn't take the power completely away from her. And notice how I'm using her. Wow, it's, my wife's going to have a fit. Anyway, um, so that she doesn't have to reboot. That's the point. So I'm going to look into that. I'm sure almost any of my, my uh, power packs will provide that minimum current uh, for a minute or so easily so that I can move her and then put her back on, put the power pack back on a charger. Oh my gosh, have I been rambling. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, gosh, 27 minutes. Uh, okay, I'm going to quit. Um, as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun playing with this. I'm struggling, of course. Um, this, again, the, I, I had hoped there was, because there's, like I said, hundreds of books on this thing, but they all say the same thing, you know. Ask her for the weather, you know. Ask her for the time of day. I don't want that. That's not a for fifty dollars. I, I could get something that. I don't, oh well. Um, if you enjoyed the show, give, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to continue to play with this, and then I'm going to get back to this guy here, which is this Radio Shack DPS. I've gotten some really good suggestions on the proper use of it, which obviously I was not using it properly. So I'm going to set up a radio, set it up as people have suggested, and see how it does. So that'll be on upcoming shows. I also have a new um, twenty to under twenty dollar radio AM FM shortwave uh, MP3 player, all that for under twenty dollars. Um, I also have a new old scanner radio that. I've been trying to capture off of eBay or HamFest, and I finally got one about a week ago. And I'll show you that and why I was looking for it. So anyway, I appreciate thumbs up, and I appreciate everybody using my Amazon store. I have no way of knowing who bought what. I know what was purchased, but I, I it doesn't, which is good for them. It doesn't tell me who bought it. So if you want to be so kind as to tell me that you bought something, then I can thank you for doing that. Um, and you can email me a small email and say, I purchased so-and-so off your Amazon store, and I would appreciate that. You can send it to trrs73 at gmail.com. And I made it under 30 seconds. Bye-bye. 30, mi uh, 30 minutes. <laughs>